What is up, Marvel Squad? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new, my name is Mariah, my boyfriend's name is Bill, and as you read by the title, Bill is going to be doing my voiceover for my makeup, which was a really requested video from you guys, and I think this is going to be really hilarious because you already know, guys don't know what the heck we do with our faces, they don't know what products we use, so the fact that he's going to be doing my voiceover, good luck guys, and I'm sorry you have to listen to that, but it's going to be hilarious. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below when done because we do give out a shout out after every single one of our videos and even in the beginning of our videos so make sure you guys are commenting your sweet comments and being cute and all that so our first post notification shout out goes to sarah carvin so shout out to you sarah we appreciate you so much and all of your support that you show on our channel on our instagrams we cannot thank you enough and just a little like fyi i am not a makeup artist i just do the makeup how i like to do it because i just started doing makeup like over a year ago and I've never done it before so I'm starting to like get better and better at what I'm doing so yeah let's get on to this video and I hope you guys enjoy hold on just gotta make sure I look good before I put my makeup on all right guys so we're gonna start off with this goop uh, I'm gonna just put a little on my hand or a lot it's gonna keep going I don't think there's enough in this bottle still trying to figure out if I could get the last bit of this out nope all right, where is this? Where's oh, there we go. Okay, so we got a new one. Thankfully, gotta always have backups in case something left out. So you just gotta make sure you got enough of this goop. And here we're gonna take out our sponge. I believe it's called a beauty blender. Just wanna put it around your facial features and try to just get it in as much of the crevices as you can. Once again, this is makeup, and this is why we are able to go outside and live life because without makeup, we'd be nothing. As you can see, I'm going a little bit quicker now, a little bit quicker. I know it's gonna look a little more intense now. We gotta get around the eyeballs. Make sure not to hit yourself. Scratch your neck a little bit because it kind of itches, but it feels good. Uh, do I look good? Uh, oh no, I missed a spot. Alright, so enough with that. We're done. Lick my lips a little bit. Oh shit, wait, I forgot. I gotta drink some water. Gotta stay hydrated, you know? Makeup is intense. Right now we're just gonna take the blue tip brush and you just gotta uh, blend it with your face. And this is kind of puts the same effect as the beauty blender sponge. Alright, so this powder, um, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to bring out your inner beauty. Makeup is just a, uh, basically a mask. So, oh my god, my face feels so good. Another hair flip. Oh, we're back with the beauty blender. We got some powder on it this time. Here we go. I'm just gonna put it on the jawline, basically, to fill in all the wrinkles. Because uh, the more you age, the more you're gonna want to put on. So depending on your age. But what we're gonna do is just keep going around the jaw. Looks pretty good. Just gotta use the brush again. And what this brush is for is to blend in what your beauty blender did in, uh, what it missed. And oh, we're back with the uh, sponge. So now that we got our jawline done and our eyes, you want to go above the brow and. And what this is gonna do this is really gonna make your face pop this is gonna be the deciding factor whether he takes you home after the date or not basically you want to just keep dabbing around the eyes keep dabbing making weird faces as you go and I'm assuming yep there's the brush okay so the reason why we did not blend in the above the brow is because we're gonna come back to that right now we're basically putting some dirt on your face you want to mix it in the brush uh, with the uh, original makeup and it should stick pretty good how you make this face that i'm making yes it looks difficult but no it's not keep the mouth closed it'll suck in your cheeks so you could really uh, see the bones now this basically highlights the natural glow of the female face as you can see on mine i'm going pretty hard the uh, more you do this the harder and faster you'll get All right so now we are going to uh, put on this other layer of uh, makeup and that is above the eye oh wait no, this looks like shit oh this camera angle is way better okay as i was saying you're gonna put this powder above the eye this is gonna make your for uh, Get to clean off my mirror back on the other brush so what this brush is for i guess is to blend in what you just put on um it's basically a multi-purpose tool you could use around the body um, i fit me out i'm choosing a pink shade gonna put this where we just put the dirt and this is basically just gonna highlight the uh the underglow that we just put on the uh cheek line oh i don't like that Ugh. Now we gotta wipe that off. Gotta get a different brush. That's what we gotta do. So the reason why I took a different brush is because the bigger your face is, the more you will have to uh, update your brushes and you have to find the right brush size. This is really just gonna glow. I'm looking good. All right, so right now we got our Vaseline and uh, this is really gonna make your face shine. Now the powders are gonna put in the color, but uh, this is really gonna go over it. And just when the sunlight hits it, 
it's going to look really good. And you're going to want to make sure to do the same thing on the other side and really get in there, really focus on what you're doing. Yeah, look cute, looking cute. Oh my God. Jeez, I missed a spot. There we go. All right, so we're going to get naked now. You want to take the mini uh, blending brush and you're going to want to just rub around your eye a little bit. And we're going to put number one on the naked pad. What you want to do, you want to rub it in the corner and all around your eye. This really has nothing to do with the makeup. It just feels really good. Oh my god. This is my winking eye, so you're going to see it closed more. Got to be as smooth as possible. Alright, so we got our artsy palette. This is just some charcoal I got off the uh, the grill at home. You really want to dig your brushes into that, so when you put it on your face, it really just brings out the natural beauty, and it's going to give you a little smoky effect on top. Once again, this is a great way to relieve stress or any other anger you have. Now, I don't have much stress because my boyfriend is probably one of the best people in the world, and I don't know where I would be without him. Alright, so now I guess we're going to number three, and... Uh, Back to the charcoal, this is really, uh, oh this uh, cleans the brushes, so you want to use some, uh, the light grade charcoal, not the charcoal you cook with, and get number five, okay I just pointed at number three, but we're going to number five now, and you want to dust this in the corner of the eye, uh, this is going to give you a little bit smokier effect than before. Um, basically a three-tone layer and what this is basically meant for is when you close your eyes it just gives it some character and makes you pop a little bit more where's my makeup I'm trying to look for my makeup hold on guys I'm losing my mind right now oh okay now we're gonna go oh, mother f all right going to number seven or eight on the uh, naked palette you want to take that and what this is going to do this is going to make the corner of your eye uh, pop a little bit more I thought we were done with the eye but uh Love going back to it. Make sure to smack your makeup if it's not cooperating with you. So it's going to be really close up here and try not to stab your eye. Alright, so you got to really get in there and be perfect. Steady hand. Make sure to hold your breath throughout this whole process as I am doing. Now, if your makeup's not cooperating with you, you just really want to smack it because I find it works better after you uh, hit it around a little bit. This is going to be the deciding factor in whether a guy uh, says yes or no. Alright guys, so now you want to take your chapstick bottle and you just want to curl them up, try not to stab your eye. This is really the deciding factor between a good makeup artist and a bad makeup artist. And this is going to give you the, uh, the lift. First we were working on the facelift, now we're working on the eyelid. The eyes are most critical because that is what guys first stare at. <laughs> okay, so you just really got to get in there and make sure everything is even, even and out. Don't let your eyebrows stick together. I know it could be a pain. Just kind of wiggle it around in there a little bit. Make sure to really get in those creases. This is going to draw attention away from all the rest of the wrinkles and imperfections from your face. And this is going to give you a nice, cute little sassy look. So really stretch out those face muscles. Get those cheeks working in there. Now the good part about doing one eye first is that you could uh, look off that one. Alright, so what you want to do next, you want to grab your towel and uh, basically just rub around a little bit on your lips. Uh, just, you know, it feels good. It gets all the little crusties off from the corner of your mouth. Just do this until you feel comfortable a little more, okay? That really didn't do anything because now we're going to grab the brush and now you want to powder your mouth. Try not to lick the brush. What we got here is we got some uh, orange flavor Halloween uh, lipstick. This is basically... Uh, Vaseline. This is what's going to give you that glow when you're taking those Instagram pictures. And I'm just going to rub this all off because I did not like what I just put on. Yeah, so if you don't like it, just don't be afraid to take it off. Right, so we got our lip gloss here. What you really want to do, you want to crack this thing open. Make sure to just butter up your lips. Uh, put it all around. Get the bottom lip in. Get the upper lip in. Um, we're just going to keep going all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking cute, flicking the hair. All right, guys, and that is about the final look. Make sure you get the uh, final check in the mirror. As I said earlier, I'm just getting into makeup, so I hope uh, you guys love what I did. The reason I got into this, because I just hated standing next to my boyfriend and seeing how good he looked. Um, so now that we both look good, um, it's just great. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So I think I killed it, and I hope you loved this little voiceover. And, yeah, that's about all that goes into it. So here guys, here's my bit final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it turned out really good. So this is what I do every single day. I don't usually do eyeshadow. I just did the eyeshadow for the video. I'm actually digging this um, kind of like a smoky eye look today. And I think I might actually start doing that after this video now. Before I end this video, I, we do have to give our post notification shout out, which is Brianna underscore Martin 17. Shout out to you, Brianna. You, your story that you sent me on Instagram really touched me and I cannot 
um, thank you enough for all your endless love and support. Yeah, so shout out to you, Brianna. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below when done. And we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace.